use that regen which he's already down to one shared tango Ooh. left with only Sing Sing does seconds. not have whirling deaths down here or sorry the timber chain down here so he's gonna take a lot of damage they have the slow from cycling dagger this is gonna be first blood oh, the last there it is he's still slowing it about in the top lane for now he's Dyer's about to have his blink dagger so i imagine that's when they're gonna go for a big turn because they're gonna need a lot to get done here bottom lane though well behind the tower you see the back end of that one the glimpse is gonna send back Skyra at the top lane, and they will be able to get their hit and run complete. Right now, um... Oh, there's a new RP, though. Catches Quickfoot. Skewers him back into Ogre. Pulls out the Ignite. Negative Urn is going to bring Quickfoot pretty low, but they end up blowing up and taking up the Magnus. Huge return bounty for them, and they're looking for more. Tinker, dash on forward. Pycat, though, very, very low. Sing Sing now under pressure from Fly, looking to push on in. EGM does get his Chain Frost off at the last oh. second. It's bouncing again to Solo. Solo's going to be low enough for a nice double edge. Cleaned up there from Quick. But still, Ogre leshing out the damage is able to grab another kill for himself. Negative Earth flies out. Silent makes her debut into the fray. If not for the buyback of Quakeman, they wouldn't have gotten anything. But at least they get some more kills on the board, and Sing Sing finally finds his level six. Yeah, he's, he's going to try to recover here. Oh, oh my oh, gosh! gosh. Oh. Whoa. That was what looked like back to back immediate crits. Continue there. rebuilding up his funds. It's been a rough time for Sing Sing, not just this game, but in his previous two as well. Just didn't really get on that mark. And it might be apparent here that the Team Tinker team still trying to kind of shake off the Star Ladder jitters coming back into a normal Summit play. That, that was practically a jump scare out of a horror movie. Like right there, oh, more on Bulba. Like he does like get the this? silence, but... Oh my goodness, Silent Jeez. gets another... They just don't have any armor. No reactive armor still on Timbersaw means he has zero, or now one armor. He's almost taking pure damage from physical right clicks, and he is absolutely just taken out of position. Again, he gets skewered back towards his own tower, but he gets cleaned on up there from Yoki. Now EGM under pressure. Scouted out, Stampede is forced to be pulled out with a magic wand to get away from that one. But meanwhile, it is going to be Magnus that falls under the hand of Quake, but here comes Silent, he clings up and gets a bit of redemption right there. Target that he chooses. But the fact that he's being empowered, bloodlusted, that he found a DD rune, like watch Sing Sing die, just watch oh him die! God. Tilt at this point, I mean, I, I'm, I, this is me even in the pub, I'm freaking out. Oh my God, I can't even look away for a second to see. Centaur does manage to find a quick catch off right there on your Magnus, but return fire coming out, Ravage gets Right, pulled out from Yoki, and Pycat's locked down long enough where they can take down the pressure from Morphling Bulba. He's in trouble, can't get away from this Tidehunter. He'll be able to take him out solo. And meanwhile, you can see Sing Sing coming back in. It's stunned up. They slice down another in the hands of Silent, taking out EGM. Sing Sing gonna fall next. And this is getting quickly near GG territory. The point falls, the lone one to get a kill. He immediately falls right after, and it's another huge fight. Might as well just call it game. It's, they're gonna creep on forward, though. Quick for lead in the front is gonna run to solo here. Solo could reactively try to glimpse back if possible, but gonna be potentially caught out. Oh, they invest. Into a hook oh. there. RP on the backside catches two, shoves him into the wall and takes him down. Silent, godlike here. They're stepping back, getting blood sewn up, but. Here we go, EGM on the retreat. Silent can't quite catch up. Meanwhile, though, they're finding kills on the backhand side. It's Koikva getting locked down here from Yogi and ran down on the other side. You see Silent finishes out EGM. Pycat, one of the lone survivors, going to get out of there. Koikva, though. Shockwave just. Puts him out of his misery. Oh, like, this is just so devastating. Solo looking for the glimpse on Pycat. If he gets that, he will. I just don't know. Gets it right back into a shit storm. I mean, there's no other way to say it. They lock him in place and they just manhandle him. Now silent, godlike at this point. Is there any reason to kind of continue the easy segue into doing this Roche? And, I mean, I agree with you. Empire a team that's happy to box, but if this other team wants to take the gloves off and go into a bar brawl, they're ready to have at it. And Tinker is looking like the guy who's had too many drinks and can't even throw a punch <laughs> right, and they're just missing the chin, and Empire's just like mocking there him it is. on the ground, and that's the it. GG ages, Drunk man's out. Literally. He's had one too many. It's time to send him on home, but someone get him a driver, because Team Tinker is done. They call GG, they immediately peace on out, and Empire just outclass him in this one, as it looks like Team Tinker continuing to struggle in recovery mode at this point, as it's going to be another loss on their notch belt. Man, oh man, Empire come up, Empire come up big after this.